Hey guys, it's Frozen Joe on a crazy windy day here in late April 2016. Today's April 25th. This is my black Madeira tree. And it had one Breba on it. The wind has just been so crazy. It blew the Breba off. And um, I'm to review of this tree, the Breba crop. Now this tree, the last couple of years, I've taken a lot of cuttings off of this tree. And so I'm sure the tree would be taller than it, you know, it is now. It would be a bigger tree than what it is. Uh, it's a healthy grower. You can see the new growth coming out so far this year. The new figs forming on it, the main crop figs. This is a Breba fig. This was, I want to say it was down here somewhere. It was on one of these lower branches. And um, as far as I can tell, this is the only Breba fig that was on this fig this year. Again, it's Black Madeira. And, you know, I've taken so many cuttings this last winter off of this tree that this may well have produced, you know, numerous Brebas, but because of all the cuttings I took, this is the only one I'm getting. So this is it. This is all I have to compare and review uh, for this tree for this year, for 2016, for the Breba crop. It's Black Madeira. It's a beautiful tree. Um, you can see many of the leaves are single lobed, just three lobed. There's some that are just two lobed. So it has the variability in the leaves. It's a beautiful tree. It's a highly sought after tree. A lot of people like this one. And it comes with a reputation for being a great, great fig, which it is. It really is. And, um, you know, the main crop is what it's known for. This is a Breba. Let me get some place where it's out of the wind a little bit. And um, if there is such a place right now. Let's see what this thing looks like. This wind is crazy. Crazy windy. Alright, let's take a look at this. This particular fig has a pretty closed eye on it. Oftentimes these will have open eyes that will fill up with like a, a syrup. But this particular one, the eye is nice and closed. It's a pretty purple color. Put it out in the sun, maybe, I don't know if you can see it better in the sun. It's a beautiful purple color. The stem is a little bit like a yellowish color. The neck rather. And, um, Beautiful looking fig. That's the size of it compared to a quarter. Let me cut this open. Oh now look at that, it's not what I was expecting. This is nothing compared to what the main crop figs look like inside. There's a few ants, but, wow, this is not what I was expecting at all. You know, I don't get too many Brebas off of this one, so I'm trying to recall, you know, just for memory's sake, is this what's typical for a Breba off of this fig? I really don't think it is, but, again, this is all that I have to compare for this year. Let's stick some ants. Let's stick this out in the sun so you get a better picture of it. Big hollow cavity, and it's um, it's like all it's weird. What's weird inside? This is very different from the main crop figs. It just looks really weird inside. Reba fig. I'm almost nervous to eat this, but I'll, heck, I'll do it just for just for science's sake, just to see what it is. I'll, I'll taste it. tastes really good but different this is so different from the main crop it's very sweet it has a nice flavor and um, but it's dry it's very sweet it's dry and um, it just lacks all that syrupy goodness that you always get with the main crop on these figs it just lacks it but 
Heck, man, it's been a long time since I've had a fig, so I'll take it. Not bad. I tell you, the, the flavor is very good on it, but the texture is really weird. It's super dry. And, um... It's just weird. But like I said, the taste is actually pretty good. Black Mandara Breba Fig. The figs are starting now. I have right here is a Havasi tree. And which has gotten really big in this last year. And there's some Brebas on it starting to ripen. And uh, you know, I'll be getting some more Breba figs soon. But here it is, the first fig of the year. A Breba fig from Black Madeira, my only one, because all the cuttings I took. And very different from the main crop. Weird and not as good, but it has nice sweetness and flavor. It's just really dry. And here's the thing with Brebus. Let me eat that last one. Let me show you guys something else. See this tree here, this tall one? The wind is just crazy today. This tree here, see if there's any left. It formed a bunch of Brebus on it. wind is making this tough to see, but this tree formed a bunch of Brebus. Here's one still attached. But most of them just, they got really big, looking like they were about to get ripe. See, here's one up here. And then they did this. You see? It's got all discolored. I'll take it off. It's not going to ripen. They do this. You see this? It got all like they get really big, like they're about to uh, ripen. See this? Then they turn to like that inside. They just don't ripen, they get close. Then it's like they shrivel up and die and fall off, the Reba crop. So, Reba is a much less reliable than main crops, generally speaking. Of course there are a few that are uh, you know, don't hold true to that. A few that are exceptions to that rule, like Desert King and a few others, but generally speaking, can't really count on the Breba crop. Some years you get good numbers of them. A lot of years you don't even get any, or you get a few, most fall off. You just can't count on that Breba crop so much, but I'll tell you, this is the Black Madeira tree again. That one Breba I got from it this year had a nice taste. It was sweet, had a good flavor. It was just kind of dry and texture wasn't that appealing. This tree is going to make some beautiful, beautiful, awesome main crop figs. Probably about a couple of months away, a month or two away from that still. And um, I'll let you guys know how that turns out. My first Breba of the year by Black Madeira. Thanks for watching.